Well, folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to look at quite possibly the worst Leatherman I have ever used. I want to introduce you today to the Leatherman Rev. Recently, the production costs of the Sidekick and the Wingman, which have been kind of the budget-friendly mid-size multi-tools for Leatherman for a couple years, has brought the price of those items a little bit out of what you would call budget. So to fill that void, the Rev was designed and introduced. But as we're about to find out here today, not only do I feel that the quality level of the Rev is much lower than what you'd expect on either the Sidekick or the Wingman, but just some very basic design flaws, I believe, that could have easily been fixed and tweaked has really limited its not only desirability, but its capability uh, for those of you out there and really isn't worth purchasing in my opinion as I'm about to show you today, whereas the Sidekick and the Wingman still have a lot to offer. So we have the Rev here in the middle and we're gonna be comparing it a lot to its bigger brothers, the Sidekick and the Wingman. And this is kind of like uh, the little redheaded stepchild in the middle and we're gonna see that and I'm gonna demonstrate that as we break down this Rev, which is taking the place of the price point that these two knives have, or excuse me, multi-tools have filled for quite a while. And now these are out of the price range and this is trying to fill that void. But sadly, it does not, in my opinion, as I'm about to show to you, do that well. So first off, let's go ahead and hit the blades. So the blade on the Rev is the exact same blade you're gonna be getting on all three of these multi-tools. The Sidekick and the Wingman share the exact same blade shape, the exact same length at 2.6 inches, the exact same steel, 420 high carbon steel with a hollow grind with this reverse sheaf's hoof, which I like. I really like these blades overall. They perform well. The side, uh, excuse me, the Wingman comes with these serrations, which I'm not a huge fan of. I prefer plain edge. I like the fact that the Rev comes with that plain edge, and then of course, the sidekick comes with the plain edge. So again, all the exact same blades in how they're designed and set up. And that 420 holds a decent edge. It's very easy to get a hair popping sharp edge back on it and comes razor sharp. Let me show you. But what you'll notice is that the thumb notch for the sidekick is where it should naturally be on most knives. Whereas the Rev, it's been moved much higher. So with the sidekick, what that means is very natural, open, just like you would ex expect from any normal pocket knife and is really, really easy to use to both engage and disengage with that nice liner lock. With the Rev, with that tiny notch down here, it makes it very awkward to try and deploy. Now, it can be done one-handed with bare hands, but it's very awkward. As you can see there, same liner lock as you would expect on the Sidekick, and you can close it very easily one-handed. But there's this spot right here that if they put the exact same blade, if this blade, if I just unscrewed it and put it in here, would fit perfectly, I could then deploy the blade. But instead, I'm having to put either a ton of pressure right there, and it can be done, uh, or I have to go all the way down here and make this very awkward transition with this little tiny notch. I, I don't understand why they did that. That means they had to retool the blade, which you know means more production time. Uh, if they literally just took this blade and put it in here, I mean, the spots are even open for that. Just makes for a very awkward and not user-friendly deployment on the Rev, whereas it's very user-friendly on the sidekick. So for me, that this whole knife problem that we see here is really strike one and a really big issue for me because it could have so easily been fixed. Now, if we flip the Rev over and we flip the Wingman and the sidekick, you can see they all have a, almost the exact same profile. And in fact, they do. They're the exact same length from top to bottom on all three. And uh, they share this exact same pocket clip, which I like, rides very well in the pants, makes it slim, 
and isn't too obnoxious and is actually very easy to pull out of your pocket and it's very EDCable, if you will. And the Rev is also gonna weigh in about the same within an ounce of these other two, so it's not all that much more lightweight. And it's gonna weigh in at right around 5.9 ounces, six ounces for the Rev. So no real complaints with the pocket clip, except for going to the quality uh, issue the pocket clip is quite loose and wiggles around where it doesn't quite do the same thing on the sidekick and the wingman. It's just a little bit tighter. I can just tell that this isn't quite as well fit and finished inside the holes and the slits just aren't quite as machined as well on the rev as on the wingman and on the sidekick and it kind of tends to rattle and definitely be the noisiest of the three and that just speaks to a little bit less quality than what we used to see on the wingman and on the sidekick now one cost saving feature that they've done here is on the rev it is not spring loaded you just have to use your fingers and your own muscles not a huge downside to me i like the spring loaded feature of the sidekick here, you know, it's got that nice springy action, which makes it very easy to use. And on the wingman, both sidekick and wingman offer that. So they drop that feature again, cutting down on cost, which again, I'm not dinging the, the service of the multi-tool for that. It seems to work rather well. And then uh, you are gonna be getting the exact same teeth and basically the exact same head that you see on both of these. You're getting the exact same whole setup. The teeth are exactly the same and perform rather well and can do light and medium tasks without any sort of trouble. The teeth for holding bolts works really well as well as well as the needle nose feature. But now here is another aspect that I just don't understand why they did. Now on this rev here, you can see it's kind of snub nosed on that needle nose portion. And again, these are the exact same proportional heads as either of these other two multi-tools on the side. Whereas this is a little bit more precise, a little more pin, uh, you know, uh, to the point, if you will, than on the rev. So literally what they did was take either one of these heads and then literally ground it down slightly to give you more of a snub nose feature. I have no idea why they did that. Again, that takes time and money to do that. And if they're telling us that this is, again, a budget item, why not use the exact same heads with the exact same needle nose tips that you, we get on the wingman and on the sidekick. So I just don't understand that. It's very functional, they get the job done, but you are gonna lose some slight capability in having it slightly rounded off and more of a snub nose, whereas these two wingman and sidekick are much more needle nose in its design. But in the fact of getting work done, I don't really see a difference. Again, though, it's just weird that they would tell us that this is a budget item, but now they're grinding off the tips of the Rev item making it more labor intensive than just throwing on a pair of these other uh, wrench or excuse me um uh, plier heads now on one arm of the rev are the very well known and you'll see them they're exactly the same on both other multi-tools a flathead and a 3d phillips screwdriver now the phillips screwdriver works great the flathead is rather wide so this is designed more for very wide very thick heavy flathead uh, screws but these both, for their capabilities, work great. Now the interesting part for the Rev is to again cut down on costs they made a slimmer arm. So this arm is not the same as the arm on these two because on the wingman, it comes with a pair of scissors. So it makes this whole arm rather thick to accommodate the scissors. And on the sidekick, you're gonna be getting a saw, again, making it much wider to accommodate that extra tool. So that because of, again, cutting down on costs and for that reason, they literally only on this arm have the two tools, that is it. 
Now, originally when I opened it out of the box, I thought to myself, whoa, this could be really cool because it's actually narrower than the other two. I'll just close one of these up here. I'll close this wingman up. Just kind of give you some size perspective here. Here's the thickness of the arm that we just looked at right here on the wingman. And here's the thickness of the arm on the rev. And you can see that there's a considerable uh, amount of narrowness in comparison to the wingman rev here wingman here so i really liked that so initially when i opened it i'm like oh man that's cool they thinned it down making it more edcable i really like that the downside is that they kept the other arm exactly the same thickness which i'm not a fan of so it doesn't really cut down on any bulk in your pocket and i think that's another design flaw that again if we're saying that this was originally designed to help with cuss costs and to still fill that budget hole, I'm okay with losing a tool that I'm about to explain to you in just a moment if it means that both sides are this thinness over here, making it thinner. So I would cut down maybe an ounce of weight, making it lighter, but also making it slimmer in my pocket. So let me open it up and talk to you about the other side with the other tools. So on the other arm, it's the exact same setup here. And again, this would be the arm with the knife. So I'll put that away so I can better wield the item for you. Uh, so this again is the rev here in the center. We have the wingman, which is gonna have the exact same tools. If you own a wingman, you're getting the exact same tools on the other arm. Similar also with the sidekick. The sidekick actually comes with a lanyard hole loop and a little serrated knife, which I never use and don't really have a lot of use for. And again, that's on the same arm as the deploying knife. So as I get those out of the way, again, giving you perspective, wingman, exact same tools. You can see here you get a bottle opener and can opener, and that works really well. You get an inch and a half ruler, which is a total waste. Leatherman, please stop doing that, and let's just get a dual-sided file. On the other side, it acts as a file with a singular grit and with a thinner tipped flathead screwdriver. Both of these work well. And finally, it comes with a package opener, kind of like a little safety knife that is actually very sharp and does get the job done when it comes to cutting things open that you wouldn't necessarily want to use the knife with. It works really well. So, so far with the actual tools they picked, not a beef at all. They are very similar to, again, what you'd expect on a lot of other Leatherman tools in its size range. This is my issue, and this is where I believe Leatherman really missed it, and they could have made a whole brand new Leatherman. Instead of making some kind of weird Frankenstein, Frankenstein design of mashing together a wingman and a sidekick and trying to like slam them together and add some stuff and take some stuff away so that it doesn't quite cost as much, it just ends up feeling like a Frankenstein tool. Whereas if they had just done some of the things we've already touched on by just leaving some things alone with the knife and the needle nose, but then I believe if they had just gotten rid of this package cutter right here, left us even, or again, give us a better file system with a little flathead can opener and just remove this package opener. Cause I mean, it's nice to have, but your knife is gonna be able to do the exact same task without any sort of difficulty. But then with that, you know, missing whatever thickness that is of that tool, they could have duplicated the thinness of this arm that we've talked about, making it, you know, thinner and slimmer, duplicated that with the deploying knife and basically made, again, a thinner, lighter, more EDCable, a multi-tool you'd much more put in your pocket, even more so than the wingman or the sidekick. Well, there you have it, folks. After having showed you the ins and outs of the Rev, I really believe that Leatherman has totally missed it on this multi-tool. Regardless if it's the poor deploying of the knife, the kind of rattly, cheap feeling of the multi-tool overall, uh, or the slimness on one side, thickness on the other, and kind of Frankenstein the heck out of this Rev really limits, in my opinion, the likability and the desirability of this Rev. And folks, that's why Ashley and I 
hate this multi-tool. That's why we hate it. You know, the wingman and the sidekick are just much better options for you. And hopefully in the future, maybe Leatherman will change some of the things that we've discussed and maybe we'll see a better rev version that is slimmed down with a better deploying knife and just loses one of the tools. And we could have a really, really nice little EDC multi-tool in kind of that medium range. But for now, Ashley and I for sure hate it and are gonna stick with our wingmans and our sidekicks. And uh, I'm gonna try and dump this thing as soon as I can because uh, I don't see the point in owning one. So as always, folks, thank you so much for watching the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on the Rev and our review of it compared to the Sidekick and to the Wingman. Please check us out on all the relevant social media. Links are in the description below. And as always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.